Morning guys, we are heading over here to this car show that is at Hodges University um, this morning, March 5th. It's me, it's April. Hello. And it's a beautiful Saturday morning, so we're just gonna stop over here, check it out. It's like a fundraiser and um, see what they have. They Look supposedly nice have a couple cool, uh, cool things going on over here. So uh, come along and check it out. So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean and I'm Sean. We're gonna see. So guys, there's a couple, we're here at Hodges University and uh, there's at least two real big block Chevelles that are here and both are mint. One was featured in a magazine, uh, one's a convertible. So we're gonna go take a look at those and we're gonna see what other cars show up. So uh, walk with us as we take a, a trip over here to Hodges University, which is a local small university in Fort Myers, in Fort Myers, Florida. In Fort Myers, Florida. In Fort Myers, Florida. So here we go. All right, so this is an SS454. Is this a real 454? This is a real 454. This is 71 13637 and trim package 715 7575 paint. So this looks like it's probably a real one. So this is a real Chevelle. Oh, so they have the build sheet. Yep. Sure do. So this is a 71 Chevy 454, SS 454. And how much was it, does it say? I don't see a total on here. All retail price. Retail was, well, oh, they were the options. Oh, so that was just actually oh. the build sheet. Yeah. Here, this car here looks like it was in a magazine. I'm guessing it, yeah, it looks like a magazine. So let's see, um, does it say who owns it? Quarter mile tires, it doesn't, but it has a picture of this car. There's a build sheet in the front. But this is, one of my favorite cars. I was gonna say. I had one of these, a 71. I didn't have the 454, but I had a 71. I like the 70s best, but these would be my second choice. And this I always, 70s. What do you mean? this is 71. Oh, you mean a specific I, 1970. Yeah. Oh. And then the taillights here, they kind of look like the Corvette taillights of, of the time, of the era. And then this is, uh, wow. So it's got the SS panels and stuff in it. It's an automatic. Oh, I forgot all about how the seats go down. I remember those on What's some that? cars. You have to do the latch in the back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that? Yeah. And this has all original, even the AM radio. Yeah, they said so. nothing's been changed but the engine compartment. Wow, and it does have air conditioning, which is kind of cool. And it's an automatic. And I always call those an H shifter. I don't know why I call them an H shifter. They're not an H shifter, but they're a gate. Like some people call them a gate. That's a weird but I had... setup. Oh, yeah. Well, you remember they used to come across from the lap? But from yeah, the... but I don't remember them being across the top oh. headliner. Yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> so, See what oh. SS means in pharmacy? What? Half. Half? Yep. So this is a half SS truck. Means half. So this has, you got power brakes, you got air conditioning, and this is pretty really stocked so there's your build sheet i'm just seeing if they have um 454 365 so this is not the 375 horse motor this is the 365 horsepower motor so this is an ls5 numbers matching is this yours oh so 
Oh, that's a Monte Carlo stuff. Oh, here we go. Chevy, Malibu, Chevelle. Even with the owner's manual, how cool. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> so it has the build sheet, but I didn't know if maybe it had the the uh, window sticker or a repo of the window sticker, and it doesn't. But this one is done, and it's uh, been. I don't know if it's all original or not. Yeah, it says it is. It says all original. Except so for the engine compartment. Okay. Well, yeah. There you go, guys. It's an LS5, not an LS6, but really nice. And I love the red. And it doesn't have, the nice thing is it didn't come with the um, vinyl roof, so the roof's not bad. And here's another SS 396. This is a 69 convertible ragtop. And here's the restoration on this one back in 2010. Really nice. There you go. That's us. And it's a four speed. Is that actually, yeah, standard? Yeah, it's a four speed. Wow. Did you put it back to the original color black? No, the original was Hugger Orange. Okay, so it was a Hugger Orange car? Hugger Orange on a bench seat, and the guy that restored it did it in the triple black with uh, the buckets. Okay. And, uh, so it's had one rebuild on the engine. Is it original four speed? Mm hmm. Okay. All right, so April was looking at this truck, and she was asking, like you're saying, there's no doors. No door hand. So how do they get in, do you think? Exactly. Well, unless the window's down, I don't know. So these are what's known for most of you guys know this, but. For those who don't, that's a shaved handle, and what they do is they use a remote control, and they just click it, and it clicks it, it'll pop it up, it'll open them up, it'll pop it out. So, that seat now, does not look comfortable. To, did this used to be like the way it was? Well, this is, they've obviously put a new shifter, a new um, shift, don't touch, yeah, we well, don't touch cars. I'm not. Oh, I know. But, so the steering column is new and the gauge package is new because this would have looked like this back in the 1930s. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they put a new interior into it. Um, they haven't covered the doors yet, but see the little handle over on the doors? Yeah, yeah. So they've, um, they've just been able to uh set it up so where the all the doors are automatic and stuff so it still looks like it's a project the interior doesn't look done but i mean it's a beautiful and i love the flames the purple and the green kind of look to go together although you know, on paper i would have probably said that's not two colors that go together but it actually does yeah no i think so right so and now which one the audi yeah you like i don't know what is that an r8 okay sorry it's an r8 no such thing we saw a couple of these down in naples when we were down there for the supercar show v10 fs1 fs1 it's not an eight huh it's not an eight no it's a 10 cylinder it's oh, a v10 oh, there's so it's so called an R8. Like the is an Mazda's where they have the engine in the uh, in the back, I, the yeah. mid-engine. These are called mid-engine cars. So that's what your Lamborghinis and so your is there cars. A trunk up there? Yeah. Well, not really. Well, there is one, but like a storage thing. but not. Yeah, not hardly big enough for that's anything. Not a good sleep space for overnight. No, <laughs> no, there's no. And then here is a suicide door, Lincoln. 63 or a 62. My brother had one of these. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I remember these. No, you don't oh shit, that's right. Car. That's right. I forgot. April's not used to going to car shows. She's used to going to like petting zoos where you can touch things. <laughs> wow. My brother's was cream with cream interior, tan, fawn, The fact whatever. that this interior, I mean, you could tell it's it's not new. It's it's maybe the original 
but look yeah. at all like this is how cars in the 70s and the 60s were done i mean with all the the tie-in and Is that the, the original interior, right? Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> that thing is just, I mean, it's great because it's t the, the, the tuck in it and everything yeah, else. Yeah, it's still there, bro. <laughs> so, that's our YouTube channel. Okay. And this is the Lincoln, not yep. the Mercury. Yep, so. it's continental. Oh, and it's, it's two-tone. Now, did you have it repainted, obviously? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it's got, I saw the metallic. This side, you could definitely see the oh, metallic yeah, in it. that's neat. But it's a beautiful car. It is very sweet. Yeah, he used to take us cruising everywhere. And the reason they called them suicide doors is because if you if tried you to jump, jump out, out, the door would hit you and kill you. Yeah, so, that's true. so if you were going, that's what it is. Because if, you, yeah. So if you wanted to, if you wanted to kill somebody back in the day, and you were. And they, they some unsavory people, you could just open this up back door while you're driving and push them out, and they would get hit by the door, and it was a suicide. That's a suicide. Yep. And they also had enough room in the trunk for about the eight bodies. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. I used to, I used to ride back there. Huge. Yes, they yeah. did. Yeah. I mean, you can carry a spare car. You don't need a spare tire. You just put a Hyundai or something in here. to drive us all around in here. That was awesome. How long have you all had it for? Oh my gosh, how long have you had this car? For a little while. Eight years. Eight years? Yeah. Did you did you have to redo it or? I had to redo it, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're getting so rare nowadays. Oh yeah, yeah, you can't, it's hard to find stuff for a long you know? And this is definitely a land yacht. What's this thing about 23 feet long? Yep. I mean, they're big. I mean, because a regular car is only about 16 feet long, and these things are huge. Yeah, we're almost 6,000 pounds, too, man. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, with that big 460, you know. But that's why, like, back in the day, the presidents used these things, because they are tanks, man. They don't, and they're all metal. There ain't no fiberglass on this thing. Right, I just love to ride, man. I know. I mean, you're sitting in the middle. And it's They're like, the cruising cars. It's so heavy, you're going to pump you on. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank it's you. an thank awesome you car. Guys. You're going to have a great day. Thanks, you too. I mean, you can if you want Max. All right. So, one of the things we were talking about here, and when we were, when we were talking to the gentleman that had the Cobra, was about the NHTSA um the 2015 law it's called the what was it called the low volume motor vehicle manufacturers act and what this is doing it's allowing small companies to build up the 325 new old classic cars um and it makes it easier because before like when you're looking at cars because one of the things you pointed out in the cobra was there's a lot of room right, from the engine right and that car probably, if you had to do a safety test, when you're talking, these kids, you know, these guys take what, about three, four years. Everybody we talk to always yeah. says about three, four years to put this thing together. They spend 60 to $80,000 building them, depending on how they put engines and everything in. They couldn't get it through without saying that people had to manufacture, that were doing the manufacture would have to pass the crash test and all that. Now, the new law, and I'm gonna read from it here, guys, it allows small manufacturers who build less than 5,000 vehicles a year to produce up to 325 licensed replicas of cars that are at least 25 years old without having to meet the crash test and other modern safety standards. And they can sell them, and this is the important thing, sell them with a VIN, a federal VIN, mm -hmm. which if you've ever tried, you know, a federal VIN is great because now you're not just dealing with the state. So previously you could only be sold as a component or a kit. And like the gentleman here was telling April, uh, he was saying that like, you know, most time you have to build one and then sell it and then build one and sell it. And so um, this is a really good thing for the classic car community, even though they're not real classics, although some of them are, some of them are now 25 years old. They've been building these kits since I've been a kid. So uh, that's a good thing.
anyway, thank you guys for being with us. And April is busy on her phone. I just sent her a quick message. So she, she, she's attached to that phone, like, it's permanently. I, I got people to talk to about, like, things. Yeah. So anyway, I hope that you uh, saw the two Chevelles were awesome. The, the red Those one and the black cool. one. Yeah. And they were really and, nice. And the Lincoln. The Lincoln. The suicide doors. That was pretty cool. Yeah. And then you like the SWAT truck? Well, or what was your it's thoughts? like a mixed like. I'm fascinated, but. And then the monster truck. Yeah, that was pretty high. Like, what do you think inch lift kit that was? That's not even a lift kit. That's just the way it's built. Really? Because it's not a it's not a regular truck crane. He, that's all custom. Oh. That's what he was saying. He builds the chassis. Twelve. Like oh well, I mean, <laughs> like my my I'm six two, and I was up to right about the. No, bumper. the fender was like at my. My that's what I'm saying. So that's crazy. Yeah. So and down here, uh, you were asking if that's street legal. As long as it has brake lights, headlights, windshield wipers, turn signals, it can be driven on the street in Florida. Like we have like no rules here. You can yeah, drive like an F1 crazy. race car. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks so much. If you like this kind of thing, please uh, subscribe and um, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Yeah. Oh, and I. April doesn't like it, but that's okay. I, I design a new t-shirt. Oh, man. Sorry, guys. She doesn't like it. It's kind of funny. Um, so I actually ordered 200 stickers for those. They'll be good for the kids, though. The kids will like it. Yeah, it's like a cartoony thing. I'll show you that in another video. I just ordered some t-shirts. So uh, if you want a t-shirt. And actually, it's got the dates and the cities on the back. I, I'll, I'll, you know what? It's for the power tour, but you'll see it when it when they come in, which will be in about two weeks, uh, or maybe I'll put the design up. And if anybody wants one, we can order some shirts for you guys. They take about uh, it says about three weeks to get in. So if you want one, I'll do another video on that. Okay. All right. Other than that, have Thanks a great Saturday. For spending your Saturday morning with us. Have a great day, guys. Later. We'll see you later. Oh, remember to subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, if like. you want to see stuff, like it and join and also comment what do you think of april's dress because i've never seen this before and it was new all right yeah don't Thanks, actually don't say anything about her dress because she, she'll get upset if somebody says something bad <laughs> i'm just saying all right talk to you later bye april should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one probably just for this one